everybody to round three of MMS season three. Today we are here in sunny Spain at the Circuito de Jerez. Opened in late 1985 and host of the Spanish and European Grand Prix in Formula One, it's most, mem it's most memorable for hosting the epic 1997 European Grand Prix, one of the closest and most intense season finales in F1 history, and also the last time the circuit has hosted F1 as a championship event. However, we are here today, and after Berna produced the best race in MMS history, Earth has a lot to live up to, with its layout of 13 ver in corners, all with a lot of variety in them. Weather is all dry, and with all that said, is Kai with the grid. And I have a grid for you, so on pole position we have Evelyn too good. Great luck from her, and she's really proving that she has a lot of talent compared to her younger sister. Peter with Joseph Murray, last race winner again, showing that McLaren are really going for the World Constructors title. Down the rest of the grid we have Johnson, Smith, Skinner, Material, Lithogram, De Jong, Zaych, Kabusek, McHugh, Holstead, Valiak, Eugen, Jankowski, De Sturman, Carrigal, Pereira, Kaltikeyan, Agnes, Jans, Chinami, Teller and Jones, who rounds off the grid. Right, I think with that done, let's get to the favorite lights. Which are all the way up there on this uh, pretty interesting gantry here. Yep. Cars going to where they come the lights. Finally got five, all five lights are now on. Lights up and away we go. And it's a good start for both McLarens, but it looks like Johnson had a pretty bad one. He might be under pressure from Smith, but look at Taker and Skinner as well going out on the inside of the Red Bull. So there's a battle for fourth place developing as there goes Littergrove, who's starting all the way down the order. He's already fighting for the position of fifth and sixth. And there he is at the inside of his teammate already. So Taker and Skinner's cleared one of the Red Bulls, and now they're both fighting each other as we go through turns three and four. Ooh, a bit and Littergrove has gone around the outside of his teammate. So Littergrove has, has made a, a brilliant start. He's up to already fifth position. Smith has dropped two places down to 60, so another nightmare star like he did last weekend in Brno. He only qualified 15th, so it was about 17th the end of lap one, but it seems that everyone's made it through the first half of the lap unscathed as the top three already begin to pull away. And now into the uh, Cordova de Isaac, yes, it's actually called that. And now through turn seven to the little stadium, into a little stadium complex here now. Turn Mark eight. already it's pushing Mark himself Q. as well down the inside of Kabusa. This is quite well, no, it actually Stay works. Mark Q is up the inside of the Ferrari of Jakob Kubasek and now trying to go around the outside of and he's still side, side by, by side. side. But look, watch out for Mihail Valjak in the uh, Team Portugal Sauber, who go around the inside now. We're not using the center chicane. Still going with Mihail Valjak's got the position. Good stuff from here. The two Williams are going at it here, going into the final corner. Kyu Jankowski under pressure from Kai Eugen. It goes up the inside, and Eugen is just about pulled ahead, but he's now. It's now a drag race down the straight, and it looks like Jankowski's pulling ahead and on the inside. Jankowski should have a bit of position. contact as well. These guys are absolutely going at it. But Jankowski, Jankowski now still finishes the, the move. Finally gets past. But yeah, good racing on the first lap, and we've got all uh, the cars who started Skinner. this property still in it. Tegan Skinner is battling with Joseph Murray, who's lost a place to Richard Johnson. This <laughs> Renault is defying the, the logic. Oh, that he just goes cars. wide for turn two and into turn three. Johnson's going to sweep four. around the outside. Just like Littergrom did. And now here comes Marcus Littergrom on Tegan Skinner. He's got an incredible straight line speed. Into dry that. sack. What a drive on the exit of the corner. He's up the inside Ooh, of both of them. Contact, he makes contact. Traction contact. Traction now. I mean, he's got past Tegan Skinner. That's one done. And now he's in the slipstream of Joseph Murray. We're on board with the Mercedes. And then Smith. Oh, he's Smith up the inside of Skinner now as well. Smith is on the inside. And look at the now traction the Red Bull has. I think he's got that done. That Red Bull car. When it performs well, it's unbeatable. It's completely unbeatable. Kabusek now absolutely stuck in a midfield. That's not uh, that's not good news for Ferrari. Yeah. But overall, We've Ferrari is struggling. Is running up in second. The other one qualifying in sixth. It's all the way down. I think in eighth position now. Material. Material struggling a bit, but, but yeah, he's already. Start. And Richard Johnson is already holding up a bit of a track. Evelyn too good to pull away up front and no one going for any moves into turn one in the top six at least and now we're on board with Marcus Lissigo he's made a sensational start to this Grand Prix he's already made up three places two on the opening lap one on his teammate of course so we go through turn three and four it's a really fast section of road it was treacherous back in the day if you went off here you were going straight to the wall it was so fast but now onto the Grand Prix layout we're not taking the chicane you see down the long straight Already many, many gaps. Oh, Agnes. Drivers, not at the back. Jack Agnes. Obviously, HRT put a lot, a lot of upgrades. They went to the tier 3. 
Uh, and the side by side with De Sturman in the struggling force India, and he's trying to run the outside of cover. Drysak at turn six. But there's Counter KN trying to uh, pose some danger to the HRV driver, not really doing it just yet. Not quite able to get past, no. And now, through to turn eight and in towards turn nine. Pariah, what happens to you, mate? He's down in 23rd position in the force city. That team is really struggling. He's only ahead of one car, and it's a bloody caterham. It's yeah, behind the, the, both Marishas, Alex, so both uh, Virgins. Yeah, Alex Jones qualified seven seconds off the pole, and Ferrari is only ahead of him. That's uh, the pressure mode, I guess. As Teller tries to make a move on uh, Patrice Jans, doesn't quite do it. Ferrari now tucks into Stepstream. Will there be a move from the Portuguese driver? No. As we go on the pit straight into turn one, not quite. Turn one's got a little bit of a rise in the terrain as you go into it. The corner itself is quite flat, so it is quite a difficult corner. It's taken Skinner. Oh, everyone's been... everyone uh, still going through here. Sorry, I thought that uh, material was Johnson for a second. But Johnson is, opposing two for the Johnson. lead. In the Renault, where I remind you, it is not a Tier 1 car. It is a Tier 2 car. They did bring upgrades, but the Renault was challenging for the lead with Evelyn Toogood. What? What? Is, what? This should not be happening. How is Richard Johnson doing this? I don't know what drugs is he on, but there's some good stuff right we here. We thought Berno... Well, at least I thought that Burner was a coincidence, it would not happen again. It's happening again straight away, and it's with even more of an effect. As here, Johnson, he's I mean, harassing the back of him. Yeah. Uh, it's either the track really suits the Renault cars, just like it doesn't suit Force India, or maybe it's just pure skill of Richard Johnson in the, the background. Too, slightly defensive, Richard Johnson. In Material second, is the overtaking the young, a bit of contact with the championship leader, and now he drops and the has got it. Damon de Jong is really struggling. Here comes Halsted around the outside almost. They're not quite and now under pressure from a hell value. Now, Team Portugal Salva needs some points. After the implosion of the team last time out, they need some points here at Hereth. And, and there's a dive. Ooh. Oh, my, How does he have his wing? Valiak is very lucky to have his front wing on there, slamming into the back of the Ferrari. And now into dry sack. Turn six, otherwise. Turn seven. Oh. Isn't it turn Sorry. six? <laughs> oh, it's turn seven. Oh, yeah, I can't. Oh, no, I it can't is turn six, up. my bad, yeah. That's yeah. on me, that's turn six. Oh, yeah. but anyway, oh, too good. Murray's into the lead. Okay, we missed Murray a lot. Joseph Murray is not only... Oh, he's going around the outside of turn three. Let's go on board with Murray for this whole complex. Great so exit out the corner, around the outside of turn three. He's going to finish off turn four. Nice, nice move. So too good pulls yeah. away. Now entering turn five, through, sorry. Through turn five. Yeah, yeah through turn so five, far. in the slipstream of his it's teammate. Going the of, of too good. Look at the straight line speed and the closing speed and into the herpin. Sends too good it. Pull, too good doesn't pull a shoe. Oh, a bit of contact uh, between Johnson and. Uh, that was. Smith also ran wide there, if you saw in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's contact as well. Contact between the two Red Bull teammates. Nearly. Yeah, clips the rear a bit. That could have been a spin. Ooh. And Smith stays ahead, just about. Now that love Skinner to catch up though, so a bit of danger. Red Bull's team owner was very vocal about the disappointment of last race. Not only was he he was disappointed at the fact that he thought Red Bull had the fastest car, and it just seemed that they did have the fastest car, just nothing fell into place for them. I mean, when they were in clean air, we saw Littigo and Smith go miles quicker than anyone else. And they are sticking with the leaders here. They both qualified in the top and 10. Jones. Oh, that's Alex Jones. Into Rakus. Now through and turn into turn eight. eight. Mm, what happened? This could have happened. Teller, very slow though. Has he been? Has he been tellered? Oh, oh yeah, he has. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. Oh god. That is a. Oh dear. That's a huge crash. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That is a huge crash for Alex Jones. He's gone over the barrier. One, three, the four, is... teleportation. Incredible crash from Alex Jones. It's gone quite like Babatunda yesterday. He hasn't gone through a catch fence, but he's gone over a barrier. Yeah, but he got teleported, you know, and I miss magic. He's alive. Huge crash for Alex Jones. How has he not lost a wheel after that? Yeah, I'm exactly. Also, I'm also wondering. But look at this train of cars behind Olivia Zosha. Here comes Shane McHugh. Shane oh, contact between the people of Shane McHugh makes contact with his teammate. It's, that was that was gonna cause a bit of uh, heart attacks in the Toro Rosso garage. Caused me one, for God's sake. Now up towards turn one. One uh, of the HRTs that's out there sending up to Eugene. There's contact and three wide. 
Into Could turn that two. Disturbance has picked up two places in one corner, and taking advantage of uh, Jack Eckless running into uh, the Williams of Eugen, who might lose a place out to a, one of the Virgins here as Carter Kane trying to go around the outside of his teammate Chinami. And Carter Kane sends it a bit of contact. This these guys has got ahead. Chinami's got a yeah. better runner through the corner. They're and now absolutely he's got going wheel to wheel today. Clear these guys. Karagor, Ontiankovsky, Williams really struggling this season, but I don't think they uh, care at all. They're just trying to score some results and now side by side through Rakus. And into turn 8, Karagor on the outside sends it and Sturman follows him through. Sturman's done the same thing. Sturman's picked up three places in the space of one lap. The Navigator strikes again. Good stuff from him. He's got both Williams and one and of oh the oh other oh guys. Material. material lost the front wing. Are, are That's you material serious? Richard Johnson. Uh, it's material without a front wing. He's in the pits. Look. Every race this season, material has been in an incident. Material's just made his way up into sixth position. Oh, please don't tell me he runs at the back of his teammate. He goes for the inside. Into oh, no, into the into Jones the corner. Not again. Material's thrown away another really good batch of points. That's, he was in P6 when that happened, and look at the absolute battle going on down the straight. Valiak, what is he doing there? Valiak, Halstead, De Jong, and Taken Skinner, who's really dropped down the order here. Meanwhile, and the Red the Bulls front. now have clean it's a, air and are it's able a McLaren 1 2 and a Red Bull 3 4. So let's see who prevails. Richard Johnson ready to pounce. Now, of course, without the support of his teammate, but Renault, no! Material just, oh, every race, just throwing away the big points. It's, it's a curse. And I, it gets worse I and say. worse in every race because Johnson keeps performing better and better. Material's got to perform eventually. As now Hickman's housed up the inside of uh, Tame de Jong through turn six and now into Raku's corner at turn seven. But he's not able to get it done. Good attraction off the exit of the corner from de Jong. And now look at Mihail Valiak. Into turn eight. This track is really just testing the traction of the cars. There is a lot of uh, demanding corners going left and, and that's right. that's a wing. Off. Oh no. Uh, that was materials. Heart attack oh, no, for Red Bull bosses. That was Marcus Littergrove who's lost his front wing. And what's happened here is Smith has got past too good. No, he hasn't. Side by, side by side. side. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's at the back of too good. Marcus Littergrove. <laughs> Smith is the only left, the only Red Bull left running now. No. So it's going to be an absolute nightmare for Littergrim. Well, the Red Bull owner's probably just punched himself in the face as he comes into the pit lane. The picker is probably not even ready for it because he's happened so late yeah. in the lap. So I and suppose Littergrim is going to get fed on Red Bull only for the next five weeks. He threw, he threw away a potential championship leading position last race and he's thrown away big points here today as uh, De Jong and Halstead are side by side through the first couple of corners. Just like the last lap, Halstead is trying to get past. And now Skinner and, and Kabusek uh, side by side. Kabusek has joined the fight but Skinner goes around the outside at turn four. Nice Look defensive. Look at the traction. Yeah. Skinner got and now, ooh, how has Valiak still had the front wing? Valiak's front wing is probably hanging on by a thread here. He's but he's banging it, bish banging it so many times already. We're only at seven and a bit. And he sends it. And he's said to move on. And he's got it done. And now I on the outside no, into Rakus, he did it. He's no, he's got it. He's done it. Well, well done, Mihail Valiak. He's picked up seventh position. Oh no, it's sixth position now. Of course, because yeah. Littergrim lost the front wing, and Kugusek has come from the ashes of nowhere from P11. He's up to P8 now. You see, I think... Oh, wait, hostage. somebody is out. Somebody is out. It's Mike Teller. Oh, oh, it's dear. Teller in the oh, HRT, dear. in the barriers. And uh, what corner is that? That's the last corner. That's the final corner. Oh, it's so Pereira. Separate. Oh, for the long Oh, Pereira's gone from... Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Mount, almost mounting the barrier. He's on board. That's some nice suspension there. Pereira's on the inside oh. and just clips him into a into a barrel roll, and he flies over. Nothing at that point. Actually, he's turning the steering wheel the wrong way. He should be turning the steering wheel to the right because that is how you unroll the car. Oh! And he turns it left, and that actually just escalates the problem. Just keeps it in a, a, a roll. Uh, HRT is going to have to um, spend some money to build a new car. Oh dear! That car is pretty damn destroyed. Anyway, so we're just there for Jack Agnes uh, for HRT today, and here is Jack Agnes. Yeah, speaking of the devil... Currently in 16th position, he's just... Nami and the Ants, nothing for the wooden spoon. 
Quite through the series up the inside goes the Virgin and also side goes Jack Hackness on uh, Kibi Yankowski. Yankowski's been under pressure all race from seemingly from someone in the Williams and he's managed to pull just ahead but is Agnes going to set one up the inside? No, he's going to sit in behind. It's probably just Meanwhile, his look at it. And here Holsted we go, a battle Skinner. here developing for 8th position. Kubasek has cleared these guys. Kubasek's up in the 7th place. Taken Skinner has managed to defend from Halstead once again and now we've got Marco Carragher and Shane McHugh on the back of this train. And this is all for points. Can it be a double uh, uh, points finish for Portugal team? Zabadez Carrigal sends it on to P10. It's going to work for the Portuguese driver. Not quite. No, McHugh defends from the Portu uh, Portuguese attacks as Holster tries to make a move. Oh, and there's no moves going on here. I just wanted to talk about when do you think the pit window is going to open? Because it's probably unlikely that Littergrome and Material will be able to do a one-stop. But everybody oh, else, yeah. if someone loses their front wing now, they could probably make it to the end of the race. It's a 33 lap race, we're about to start lap 10. Yeah. It's probably doable. Littergrove Holster. might be able to do it as Halstead up the inside of Skinner. Skinner really trying to slam the door on him, turning into him quite aggressively. Halstead's got the track position, but he's not fully alongside. I mean, take it, uh, Skinner. Trying to answer your question, uh, James, I mean, we saw that in MMS uh, sanctioned events, anything is possible. Valcino pits on lap one and somehow makes it a one stop. So I don't really know if they will be it's able possible, to. It's possible because Littergrove now has clean air. If he can go to. The Manage the tyres of the fuel, he could probably win this race. Because he's in clean air. But and it's too good onto Murray. And, and he's certainly good won this wide. race with the two McLarens keep battling. And then wide went Ali Valentuga. And up and round the outside goes Joseph Murray. And he's taken the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix with a lovely move that did the switchback. Let his teammate run wide. He's got the position. And now Smith is a lot, lot closer in that Red Bull. In third position. Only driver I view here. Shout out to Formula E for the uh, driver eye yesterday, that was pretty epic. Yeah, driver is an interesting invention, you know. Makes you really feel like the driver. Yeah, you can see just how much the car is vibrating and moving around on the straights. Cool vibrations. The speed these guys go at. And he's really right up behind him. Richard Johnson is still holding down fourth position here. Under a bit of pressure from uh, Tame and Young. We've got the hell of value, still running around in sixth in the Sauber. Good from him. Although yeah. his front wing is probably hanging by a thread. Oh, to get a bit of a uh, traction loss on the rear down the exit. Uh, these, these McLarens are going really slowly. They've been caught yeah. now by Richard Johnson and by Taman de Jong. It's due to battling and maybe they're trying to save some fuel, trying to save some tyres. But now Evelyn took a look at the run. She got out of turn five. She got a really good run and she might go sack. down the inside. She might go down the inside and try sack. She does go down the inside. Up the inside. They run... And it's the side by side. side. This is going to send it. There's Not going to work. Side by side through turn seven. Now into turn eight. This and is how Smith. Little Smith. Little Smith. And Smith Johnson. The outside. And Johnson. Smith and Johnson both in the second and third place as Murray goes down to fourth. McLaren kick themselves in pain, in anger, because they've just lost out in that. Everyone too has held the lead and now Murray is having, actually having to defend. Murray was... I don't know here. On the inside, so here's the position. Good. And then Smith. Round the too good. Round the inside goes Smith. Round the inside goes Johnson. Losing three positions to three different cars. And now he's under pressure from Taman de Jong here. Who is all over the back of the McLaren. And into the last corner. So I just had to clear my throat there. Joseph Murray, he's going to be fuming after that. And now we've got a Red Bull in second position for the first time this race. And Johnson is back up into the podium places. If Richard Johnson gets another podium... I just I give this say. man a McLaren or a Red Bull seat. Just give it to him. Oh, or probably the Renault seat. Um, no, yeah. he's already in the Renault seat, of course. It would be perfect if Johnson was in a different car, like, and he was a Red. And he could probably replace Material if he kept up the performances. But someone does have to. If Material doesn't step up, his act, he's probably going to get replaced because he's thrown away. Yeah, so I mean, at the moment, uh, the ART uh, team that is connected to Renault have Andrew oh, Mondragon. Right. Smith going for a move on the inside of Evelyn. Too good for the. Lead. He's on the outside, which seems like to be the preferable line. Round side outside, by turn seven. side, and into turn eight now. And, into and turn Johnson. Eight and he's done it, and here comes Johnson around the outside. And Johnson's in a second place. Unbelievable scenes as Smith is up into the lead. Johnson's up in a second, and for the second lap running, a McLaren has lost places around the outside at turn eight. Unbelievable scenes. What is quite, going on? Quite frankly, McLaren are imploding. Now, into the final corner. 
into Lorenzo. Johnson, is he going to quite get it done? Not quite. Too good. Try to have traction. Johnson, side draft doesn't going to work. Johnson's going to cover off the uh, British driver. He's and now the moves. She somewhat punted Johnson out of the way. It's still, no, it's still Richard Johnson holding this down. This is spectacular. Ooh, oh, the sideways. Yeah. That was sideways and one of the cars being punted off. I think De Jong and Valiak are really close together. It might have been one of those two or was it a McLaren? I don't know. Now into turn five, up the hill. And now straight back down it. On the straight, and we've gone forward with Evelyn. Into turn and six. Really Tugas good doesn't send it. No, it just sits behind. It's interesting. Yeah. The outside line at turn 7 and 8 seems to be the preferable one. We see many, many overtakes we pulled there. The outside There's line Material already really catching up to the Virgin's Lithogram as well. There's Lithogram. So Lithogram's actually behind Material for track position. These guys are going to start getting held up now by the uh, lap... By, uh, so lap, they're not lapped cars, they're just back markers. Yeah. They may become lapped cars. Who knows? And yeah, this race is quite long, 33 rounds, but you are already approaching lap 14 as we speak, so... Very fast race. And Smith, Brighton, Smith and Johnson maybe need to put the hammer down because these McLarens are looking very, very racy. Particularly Evelyn Tuga is sticking her nose in absolutely everywhere, trying to uh, psych out Johnson or something here. I mean, our fastest lap belongs to Shane McHugh at the moment. That's... Shane McHugh in the Toro Rosso, that's pretty, a decent effort from him. It seems now, that the Renault-powered cars just seem to have an oh, advantage. Oh, slide here. from Joseph Murray's going to lose some place through turn two. Turn, two, turn one is quite... It's a tight corner, but turn two is even tighter. And longer as well, and it's also downhill, so braking is a little bit harder. Too good now, really close to Johnston. Look how close that front wing is. Smith uh, might back use this to break Johnson. away a little bit, just like Hannah Eastwood did last race. Johnson, look at this, not going for it. The Johnson's young sends the an absolute dive onto Murray, and he does it. De Jong with a successful dive bomb, fantastic from the Mercedes driver. He was legions behind, and he's managed to get up into fourth place and demote Joseph Murray down to fifth as Johnson and Tuga going side by side here, and Johnson prevails once again. They just cannot pass this moving roadblock that is Richard Johnson's Renault. And look at Smith, he's bolted off, and now here comes De Jong. Oh, Murray oh, nearly takes him out. What a save by, Th by Thayman De Jong. His car had no right to be in a straight line after that. What an unbelievable moment of car control for the Mercedes driver. And Joseph Murray, he's the culprit here. Let's see on board with this driver eye. He's thinking of a move on the inside of two good here. Look at this for car control. Wow. He immediately snaps the racing wheel back into it. Look at Rem this. That's reminiscent. That reminds me of Fernando Alonso in Brazil 2012, but that was on a wet condition. This is for a punt from Joseph Murray. Murray just, just doesn't react in time. Hits the young. Seems like he tried to spin him out, but the young says no you and keeps the car in shape. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And Murray actually lost time for that. And look at the trailer car that have formed as a result of that. And it's pit window open. Ding, ding, ding. Finally, Evelyn. Oh, so it might, we might actually have a two-stop race here. Yeah. We could be having a two-stop. That'll be interesting. Although oh, look how slow Kabusek is going. Oh, we do have other people pitting. But windows open rather early. We're only on lap 15 of 33. Not even distance. Pereira, so Agnes, Shinamio. Oh, look at Littergram. We've got to move. We've got the Caterham overtaking material. So not the case from the uh, Virgin. Carter Kayan is on the inside of material. He's overtaking the Renault. He's going around the outside of turn three. And now into turn four. Of turn four. He's, <laughs> he done it. It. <laughs> He's done it. He's done it. Material hang oh, on. Oh, not again. It's happened again. Marcus Littigo's front wing has gone for the second time this race. And now he's going to be fed Red Bull for five weeks. <laughs> Unbelievable seeds. Sturman defends on the outside from Olivia Sage, but Olivia Sage actually keeps it. How on earth? Sage's is now on the outside. Good stuff from Olivia Sage as she's got a head. Good stuff. Really That's good pure stuff driving her. skill, but now pit lane. Everyone coming into the pit lane. <laughs> now, <laughs> the McLaren <laughs> has the first <laughs> garage here. Then it's Red Bull and Johnson has his pit garage all the way at the end, so the chances Let's of him being see the pit stop really from the really Renault crew. He's already dropped. How long is it going to be? Oh, it's a long one. Oh dear. Smith 6 is having to wait as well. He's away before Smith is. Where's all this? Just Where's now. Former race leader? He's behind Evelyn too good. Johnson is in the virtual lead. Johnson has just taken the effective race lead. Great stuff from the pit crew. 
the Red Bull picker either they had a really bad one or they had to wait, but Smith has dropped down De Jong, to effective oh third. Dear, De, Jong. De Jong is having to wait an awfully long time. He's behind Pereira. He's behind Chinami. Oh, he's no. behind Kubasek and he's behind Mihail Valiak is running in the top six. Oh, there's a wing. Was, who's uh, still Littergrom? Littergrom couldn't pit. No. It gets worse. Th that's a different wing. It's Skinner. Oh, it's taken Skinner. It's What's all kicking here? off. So this race is just... What has happened? So Carragher's Carragher going... Oh. Really oh, Carragher runs wide and Skinner doesn't do anything about it and just hits the back of him. Oh dear. This race has turned on its head completely. We now have... It looked like Smith had the win wrapped Yellow up. Yellow flag. Here. Oh dear. Oh, it's off, another front wing off. And that's Patrice Yarns. And that was also the case... Uh, not, why do I keep getting them mixed up? That was the Virgin oh, running wide. Zay. Oh, Zay. And look at the Virgin run wide here. So Zay, she, she just spins. Has Zay just spun all her on her own? Yeah. She's done it all on her own. Got worn out tyres. She manages to keep oh, the car spinning. Almost hits into Jack Agnes. That was... Oh, that was close. And then it spins around. Oh. Quite unsafely joined. And Jans runs into the back of Kartikeyn, forced wide by a material. Yep. Kartikeyn pitting this one. And now here comes the race leader, Richard Johnson, who's about to get tellered here by Kartikeyn. Unless he could pull a move. Oh my god, he's oh, pulling he's on not the tellered. side. He is not playing around. Now he <laughs> Richard sees his Johnson, teammate. what a driver this guy is. What I mean, is he, he having for breakfast? I mean, Valtteri Bottas could have porridge. I don't know what this guy's having, but he's got to share it with the world. I guess it's Marmite, he's Australian. Yeah, but I hate Marmite, so... I mean, yeah, who knows that? Oh, my material's not pitting, he's yeah, going up against his teammate. It. He's overtaking his teammate here, and he's not quite done it. And oh, he's because Evelyn too good. He might just have lost the race lead, here comes Evelyn. This is going to get really, really spicy, here's a materials into the race lead. Out of the pits goes Halston a lot, lot closer. It Johnson lost it to Too Good and now Too Good trying to just overtake material. She has better tires. So the McLaren's way back into fuel. the race lead. Can Too Good overtake material here? He's going oh. she's, sorry, she's going up the inside. That was close. That was really close. That's how material lost the front wing. A move like that wasn't in the same corner, but and now Johnson in a session of the McLaren, he might send an absolute one, but he doesn't. And now two good way, better traction for turn six, now into turn seven, otherwise known as Rackus, and into turn eight. They're both quite fast uh, left-handers. Just go for it. Yeah, it's I mean, she can't left really left. do anything. Into another section of sweepers. It's this, really is like the, this, is, this is the technical section now, it's constant, it's left, left, long, left, right, it's left, long, left, right, right, and then some really quick kick, uh, kicks. It Tries to chicane, send the backs out of it. But the center chicane's not really used anymore, now we've got a four-way battle for the lead, they're all being held up here by a material who's definitely due another pit stop. And this is all allowing Halstead, and is that the Tarosso of Shane McHugh? The Smith. No, behind them. Yeah, that's Shane McHugh. Shane McHugh, and I Murray, that McHugh's made a pit Jones stop. Jones is in P9, but mind you, he lost the front wing. Chinami so is holding up Skinner. Everyone's getting held up in the pits. We've got a real interesting race going on now, because we've got one of slower cars running in the higher positions. So Smith is fancying a move on Richard Johnson. Here he comes down the straight. He's in the slip stream. Does he go for the move? Yeah, the, the Luxembourg is driving the sent it up the inside. He goes down the inside and he's got the move done before they even get to turn seven. Smith is up into third position. Effective second as Tugan is trying to get past material. And she sends and it. goes up the inside. Has she got the move done? Yeah. yeah she, she does. Has. Amazing. And now she has to pull away before Smith could get past. Because She's the Red Bull this. is fast and the Red Bull is angry. The Red Bull, of course, is the is the sole Red Bull left fighting for this race after Marcus has gone lost the wing not once but twice. I mean, yeah. come on, son. C come on, mate. I mean, now he can go to the end. Come to think I of it. Think, I still don't think he can go to the end. He can because but, he lost the front wing twice. So, yeah, but in theory, lost now. It, like, he lost it around the pit window yeah, of these guys. Yeah, so in theory, now he can go to the end. He, oh, he can, oh, sorry, yeah, he can go to the end, but he, but if these guys do a one-stop, he's nowhere near them. Even if they do a two-stop, he drove. He had to drive around an extra lap for the front wheel, remember? Yeah. Now, anyways, so you can see Evelyn too good pulling Johnson, away. Oh, punt, punt. Oh, they make contact, 
How is that front wing still on? How is another puncture on that Red Bull car? Is Smith going to send another one into the hairpin? No. I swear if he does. No, he doesn't. No one sends one into the hairpin. But Smith has way better traction than material. Is that, is that another lap where Smith has to wait patiently behind? Or does he send one up the inside? No, he just sits in behind. He can't do this. He can't pull off an overtake. I think, Smith, I think Smith is driving patiently because he doesn't want to risk it. Mind you, this race is really strategy based. As we have seen, the pit stop was decided the race current race order. And just what I said pre-race, I thought this would be a more strategy like race. And now Smith oh, sends it. He's gone up the inside and he's got the full car ahead, but no time. Three wide! That Halstead is gonna make this maybe three wide. Smith is getting swamped! This is going to be really, really close. It's Halston and Johnson who are side by side. Johnson fancies another one up the inside of Smith. Is he going to do it? Not quite. Smith's on the outside, which as we know is not the good line. Johnson sends it, gets it. Johnson's got it, and now he's on the outside. He's got it. Johnson's overtaken him again. He's off into third place. And now look at Shane McHugh in P6. And these guys have all been caught by Joseph Murray, but yeah, I was expecting the McLaren. Halstead tries to send it onto Smith, has a bit of conduct, and now Joseph Murray also joining this battle. <laughs> The McLaren pit box is the first pit box there, and while it worked for Tuga, normally because you have to wait for every single car, it worked for Tuga, she didn't have to wait, but for Murray, he had to wait for a lot more cars coming in, and we've got Alex Jones and telling about four Kubusek. cars, Kubasek is overtaking Tegan Skinner. Not quite, and now no, Kubusek and Valiak. Now here comes Valiak in the Sauber, he's going to be fuming, he was running in sixth position at one point here, the and he's just been overtaken young. by De Jong. The young also absolutely died in the pits. As there is H and there is Littergrim. Oh, already have a tick. Yan, so I guess that's an upside. As now Johnson sends in onto material. And Johnson's got passed. So the only car who seems incapable of passing material is Smith. It seems. Oh, Murray's dropped off. And material is pitting the slap. Material's finally coming into the pits. So Smith. Oh, he's made a mistake. He's made a mistake and through goes Smith oh, look and how Halstead. slow he's going. And really he's it. it's definitely time to pit for the Renault. Yeah. It is definitely time to come into the pit lane. Now, you know, Holstead tr holds on. Smith, to Smith has now got Holstead right behind him. Not what he wanted, and now we're on board with Joseph Murray. Let's see if we, in the, uh, just ahead if we can see Halstead making a move. No, he doesn't. Smith is still ahead, and here goes Joseph Murray up the inside. He makes contact very late with lunge. material, and it looks like he's got it done. He has done it. Yeah. Yes, he has. And now Shane McHugh is the next one to overtake Mateusz Material. But uh, he might not have to because Material will come into the pits. But McHugh is running in an effective sixth position for that team. And Smith now has a job and it is to catch and pass Johnson before Evelyn Tugan pulls away. But that gap is three seconds between Evelyn Tugan and Richard Johnson. And it's he has an angry Scarlet at Ferrari behind him as well, so... Uh... And Halstead is not buggering off here. Uh... Oh, Material missed the pit entrance, oh dear. Just give this man a break. If this Holstead is a two stop break, oh, Halstead's up the inside. Is Smith going to lose another play? This is getting really. This is turning into a nightmare for the Red Bull team. Halstead now on the outside, which we know is the preferable line. But Smith has the Red Bull three. traction. Oh dear. Oh, they make contact. Was that a front wing gone? No. Not quite. It's still on. How? How has the Red Bull still got the front wing? It's dropped down to fourth now. What's Jones doing in a pit? Is okay. Jones, no, Jones, just... lost, Jones went up off yeah, the yeah. bar, remember? Oh yeah, that was the but big one today. This race, it looked like Smith's to lose. It ha it is. It has turned out to be. He was in the race lead. He's now down fourth. And now Pereira tra Skinner, having to defend to from Skinner. Pereira in the fourth This is fourth position. Up the inside goes the Mercedes. Move done. Up into tenth place for Tiger Skinner. It looks very simple to make that move. And now Kabusa. That's a, that's a pretty opportunistic move, putting so much speed into the corner just to dazzle Kuba Jankowski in the Williams, who's now under pressure from Tegan Skinner immediately. That was a bold move from the Ferrari. Ferrari regaining pace lap by lap in here. That's interesting. Now into the last sector, the last couple of corners now into the hairpin. And Skinner, Skinner sends one on Jankowski, yeah. that is... And that's uh, free white for the really, last corner, dear. Jankowski's really not fighting these guys at all here, is he? He's letting them go by with, with ease. I mean, he with Kubasek, he's just done it again. I mean, he's no Williams. He can't do much, can he? Exactly. There's nothing he can really do to stop the it. The thing is, the Williams cars seem to be better, uh, benefited and there's a, there's by the layout of Ferrari. There's another position he's lost to Pereira. 
Yeah, and now he's out of points. Pereira back into point playing positions. As now Yakonski is trying to defend from Tamer de Jong and Hel Valniak. And, and there goes the Jong. And there goes another one. And another one bites the dust, except <laughs> another one's overtaken. And that's now four places in as. Oh, you could say in as many corners. He's lost. And there is Valiak. Here comes Valiak. Also, now. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, that's a flip. That's the Sturman rolling over. That is a big. He didn't lose a wing or anything. That is a big crash. How is just Sturman still going in this? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, there goes oh, Material. Oh, there Material. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Wait. <Well, laughs> he got the Bruno flashbacks, I can tell you. Coming into dry oh, sack. He sees the yellow flags. That's really dangerous for a disturbance. But let's yeah. see the first crash. He's yeah, just going Dinesh to it. Dinesh Kato KO. And rolling over it just... When you're rolling over, trust me, the thing you should do once you're in the roll is just keep the steering wheel straight or turn it over another way. The way he was turning it, that car's going to keep on rolling. Keep on rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> I mean, he gets he gets rather lucky that he doesn't mount the yeah, tire barrier. He and bounces off it. Yeah, I, and yeah. I managed to keep the wheel spinning because the yeah. worst thing, of course, is when you don't keep the wheel spinning, they sink into the gravel and you're finished. You can't Again, get them back the out. Again, the navigator navigates his way to survive another accident. And you need Johnny Herbert to dig you out if you're if you're Lando Norris. Anyway, Osmus lost another position. He's down in fifth. It's and a nightmare, and he's a... This is, this is a Red Bull night. This is Red Bull's worst nightmare right now. It looked like they had the fastest car. What is Smith doing? He's down in fifth. They have the oh, best... Wait. So, in my theory, is they have the best drivers. But they don't have the best car anymore because of McLaren. They're running out of laps to get past. We're on lap 24. And if anyone... Ten laps Richard to go. Jo Richard wait. Johnson seems to be the only person who can stop everyone. Marco Caragul sits the fastest lap. Yeah, that is 13 seconds quicker than the official lap record here, F1 lap record, which is a 1.23. Anyway, Shane McHugh is actually rivaling. Shane McHugh is actually fighting with the, the senior team in the junior car. This oh, look at pretty, this. This is a rather remarkable race, and we've got the back markers providing the show again. Olivia H, Jack Agnes, and up the inside goes Kai Eugen, or Litter. He's still a real outside bet for points. It's very unlikely. But I mean, he it can could, do it. It very much could happen. You never know, MMS is full of surprises. Caught Falcino. Cutting the corner there. Just hanging back and look at how much he's caught the, just in the braking zone and on the traction. There's good stuff from him and from the car. The car does have very good traction. That is undeniable. It's probably the best traction on the grid. He's so hanging on, on behind. It's not looking it's like he's going to move. Queuing up behind Olivia Zage and now back towards the front. Smith has lost the place to McHugh. This is unbelievable. This is quite frankly, it's again at the first couple of corners. He just has to defend the position more. This is, is Smith quite... having an engine issue? This is remarkable. Has Smith got a car problem? It must be. Because he, he, he made his way up to the race lead and pulled away. There's no way that he could be that slow. This is quite remarkable stuff. And what's also quite remarkable is the fact that Richard Johnson is fighting for the race lead and he looks hungry for it. He gets a really good run out of the final couple of kicks. Does he set it up the inside? No, he sits in behind and gets a, takes a wide line for a better exit, but no, Tuga gets the better exit. And Halstead is right behind these guys. Murray an extra four seconds, McHugh another second behind after that. If these guys start battling, I tell you, those guys behind of Murray, McHugh, McHugh could be an outside shot for a podium here as well if these yeah. guys all go to war. I mean, Holstead is somewhat aggressive, and we've known that on the final laps we see quite the amount of surprises, so you never know. I mean, but someone's in the pits. Smith, Smith in the first few laps. It's Jankowski. Oh, Jankowski. oh dear. Oh dear. Smith in, the, Smith in the first few laps, he was always overtaking at uh, turn six, Curva Drysack. That has not happened at all in the second stint. Oh, he's running to the back of Pereira and got air. Pereira's done well to hold that car, to be fair to him. Yep. So now Material gains a free position, and oh dear. And we've got Agnes on the inside. Littergren finally makes a move. And Agnes has gone around the outside now. That's done on Chinami. That's move completed. And now Littergren has got. Uh, 
Pass the sage Williams tries to make her move on Katakin. Katakin is most likely going to get a penalty for taking out the Sturman. Yep. That would make sense. Of course, FIA will have to decide on that one. Still are deciding, I'm sure. Again, all was the that incidents. Without, was that De Jong without a front wing? No. No, okay, I heard front wing, oh, my bad. But yeah, Smith is falling away from this lot again. So I, 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 I say something is wrong with that car. I can only see that. The only explanation I can see valid is there's a car problem. Yeah. And he's almost... It might be a straight... Uh, it's probably an engine problem, because look, in the straight lines, so what, uh, he's always been losing places at turn one and at turn six, which is always on the back of a long straight. So I think we've got an engine problem on that Red Bull. Yeah. He's, look, he's just not even coming close to catching these guys. His only hope here, really, is that everyone else begins battling away he caught them a little bit through that corner, but it's seven tenths of a second, and McHugh... McHugh is an outside uh, it's shot here. And we've only got six... We've only got... We're on lap 27 of 33. Six laps to go. There's, yeah, six laps to go once this one is done. Evelyn too good has led the majority of the second stint. But now look how much time she loses through this corner. Look at Richard Johnson, how quick he is through this now section through of Now through Ferrari. He's closer than into he was Lorenzo. last oh, lap. Is he going to go for he's it? Got, yes, he is. He's, he's, he's up the for inside, it. going into the final corner. Not Does he quite. No, too good gets the better exit. Keeps having to turn for the corner. Now, what's going to happen here? Is he going to send one? Not quite. But they're being caught by Murray and McHugh. The gap is now two, six seconds to that lot. And Smith is not too far behind. Yeah, but just... Oh, Murray. That was a big slide from Murray. McHugh Murray, also yeah. had a slide, but not so much. And now McHugh... Murray all out of shape on the curves as well. Is he going to stay on up? No, he's going to sit in behind and look at the traction that Murray gets. Wow! And Smith is now four te only four tenths behind. But Johnson... <laughs> How is he still here? He's... It's been too many laps to say that this is a fluke. This is not a fluke. That Renault car in Johnson's hands is seriously quick. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, the double front wing gone! And that's Skinner, Skinner. and Kubasek! That's taken, Skinner. Skinner has taken out Kubasek! Or vice versa. I think one of them ran into the other. Yeah, it's Skinner. Look. Skinner's completely missed his break and he's pushed Kubasek into Caracol. Oh dear. That is really... That's not... No! Those guys are both running in the points. In 8th and... In, uh, that would have been, what, 8th and ninth position, and now they're both going to have to pit for a pairs. Which, which means we Cameron will see... Pereira into the points. Yeah. Yellow flags, oh dear. Yellow flag, oh no! It's Vajak. And there's a I suspension bit. It's gonna, I just said it's going to promote him into the points. And there's also a suspension bit that flew... Oh dear. Oh, oh no. Was, oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh! Oh God! He's been hit into the back by Olivia Sage. And now Agnes what a... into points. Jack Agnes is now in a points pain position. I I am saying that right. Jack Agnes is in a pain position after taking Skinner has probably just got himself race banned. Or Kubasek. What on earth? Kubasek and Skinner. What on earth are they doing? Oh my goodness! That is a terrible rejoin. I mean, how does one even do that? Come on. Come on, guys. And Olivia H does a sensible thing and parks the car off. I mean, just look at this. Okay, so, yeah, Valiak doesn't react in time, but Kabusek shouldn't be even in that place. I think I think that's more of Valiak. It's just yeah, this is, this is Valiak's fault, yeah, but... He rejoins the track at a very dangerous angle. And then Valiak's driven into the wall here. Oh, my goodness. And there goes Jack Agnes going past. Oh, God. And Littergrome. Littergrome is an outside shot for points now. Believe it or not, Littergrome could get a 10th or 9th position here. But it's finally rejoined the track without spinning out, and now there's debris everywhere in that sector. Kubasek comes into the pits. So does Tegan Skinner. So Jack Agnes is now in a points position and has got a gap to the car behind, although it is Marcus Littergrome. And so Smith Johnson got McHugh. is still... Smith got past McHugh there, up into 5th. So now, have they fixed the problem at Red Bull? I think they did. Or maybe McHugh got a problem. Up, oh, he went on the inside of the hairpin. And so got past Smith him. No, regaining Smith. pace. Smith is back up into the top five. We've got four laps to go after this one. And Johnson 
I don't know how he's doing this. Carragher he's still he's just that. sat in behind this McLaren, just biding his time, waiting for the chance to strike, or is he trying to pressure the young Evelyn Tugan into a mistake? We will see. Now, Has Tugan won a race this season? No, just yeah. Mark, we've had we've only been two races, Smith and Murray, the only two people to win the races. But look at the mini look at the Delta, Halstead. Halstead is right behind this Renault car in third place. And yes. Murray and Smith aren't too far behind. This is so, getting really, so really these interesting guys, now. So if these guys keep on battling, we might see a bit of Johnson now inside. Here goes Johnson at the inside. He's got that's the preferable line as we've been Nice. Richard Johnson is on the inside of the McLaren. He's done it. I don't He's believe got it. He's lost. Richard Johnson takes the lead. Too good is pitting. Too so it, oh, it, wait, is it is a two stop. It is a two stop. Window. People are pitting. It's, it's a two stop. Marcus Littergrove might actually win this race now. What on earth has gone on here? This race has just turned on its head. We've got cars pitting. I oh said this is goodness, a strategy they can't race. Make it to the end. Too good on the inside of Halstead. I said this is a strategy race. Halstead's oh now going around the outside. Halstead's taken second place, and Johnson's taken off. What on earth are we witnessing? Well, Smith isn't. Pit Smith is pitting. Smith is pitting. McHugh is not pitting. Carrigal the youngest pitting. Pereira is pitting. Littergrove uh, might not have to pit again. This is remarkable. Remarkable, remarkable oh, season. We've only sorry. ever seen one stop races. This is a two stop. So Richard this Johnson. This is history. So there is too good. There is too good. In, in the goes too good. In goes Murray. In uh, goes Smith. Oh, she's oh, been. She's fun. Oh. Uh, oh my words! I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I do not believe it. Evelyn Too Good and Smith have crashed in the pit lane. Surely that's a, is that a red flag? No. I don't believe it. I don't bloody believe it. I... This is literally unbelievable. This is literally the stuff. Oh my goodness. You cannot write this. You, you cannot even write this. So Murray Smith is already out. Smith on course to take the lead of the championship. Not anymore. And now Marcus Littergrom has come out in sixth position ahead of Joseph Murray. Who now Magic Carragall, McHugh who... and Johnson are Joseph pitting. Murray was the lead car coming into the pits after Tuga and Smith shunted themselves out. And I honestly thought that Smith was going to get away with it, but Tuga stepped on the gas. Unbelievable. Yeah, Tuga is going to get penalised. Red Bull's team owner is probably punching himself in the face even harder now, but... Marcus Littergrom, Marcus Littergrom, I think, is in a podium position now. Now that Tuga's yeah. taken himself out, he's in a podium position. I am... I am... I am... I am speechless. I... I... I do not know how to react to this This incident. is literally insane. Let's go on board with Smith as he ran into the back, as he ran into Too Good. Or... Oh my God! Sm we have Smith's radio, and um, it's and I can't say what he said. Uh, for oh my God! He to took a really good line into the pit lane, which makes it. Even... And um, he and he gives him the bird. Oh dear! Unbelievable! He just Absolutely gives him the incredible. bird. Into the pits comes Johnson, running a bit wide. Halstead has stayed out. And um, McHugh's also gone wide to the pits. So Halstead stays out. Is Halstead pitting? I yeah, yeah. Halstead's in the pits now. Okay. So Johnson comes to the pits. They need a good pit stop here, Renner, to keep the advantage. Check Agnes is in And fifth. it's not a good one. Smith. It's not a good one. They have to Ma wait McHugh for Carroll. already McHugh overtook McHugh him. has taken the position. So Ca Marcus Littergrom is now leading the race effectively. Or is Jack, Jack Agnes has to no, pit? No, Littergrom's Marcus pitting. Oh, Littergrom's pitting. Murray has the lead. So, jo Joseph Murray's taken the lead. What about Material? Material's in second place. Uh, I, uh, 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 this race is... I don't know what's going on here. This is all chaotic as anything. We've got a battle for 15th between Pereira and Kubasek. But uh, what... Uh, uh, I'm, so, I'm literally speechless. I'm, fi I'm not even finding... I can't find the words to commentate this. This is absolute chaos oh, that's a front wing and that's Carrigal. oh it's Carrigal from eighth position and there are cars ahead who have to pit Carrigal was in the top five. Oh, he just oh, oh. he's right to the back of dinesh kartikeyan kartikeyan is pitting oh dear oh dear marco Carrigal. the amount of points that people have been throwing away this race 
And you cannot write this. You cannot. This is going to be the craziest finish in MMA. You thought I thought the burner was on top of ball, and now this has topped it, and we're not even. Halstead finished yet. is already Halstead in the pits. Halstead pits with two laps to go. So no. This is the final. Uh, this is. We've got, we've got one lap to go. Yeah, white flag. After this, we've got one lap to go. Into the pits he comes. How's the pit stop? He's not going to be held up by. It's a little bit slow. Six point three seconds. Yeah, but mind you, they don't have to push. Here yeah, comes it's Murray. Enough. It's down enough. Down the pit lane. It's not I don't off. think it's enough, Murray's got it! And Material's ahead, what about Johnson? He's ahead of Johnson! So this has all slipped away Little, from Richard Little Johnson! Little might not be even in the points! It's Agnes. Jack Agnes is putting okay. as well! Agnes has completed the pit stop! Oh! Oh my god, Alex Jones has lost the front wing on the last lap! Thank Another Lotus that. without a front wing, dearie me! What happened here? What is this battle going on? This way, oh. I don't even know who's gonna finish in position now. It's all, it's all, all only now become clear as to what's actually been going on. Jankowski is battling How for is team. Jankowski back in the top five, six, and seven? I, oh, he's, I, about to, he's, a, he's about to lose. No, he, he hasn't. He's, he's kept the place. He's defended against both Mercedes cars. Ladies and gentlemen, we are left absolutely speechless. Alex Jones is actually in the points. Now, it's still in the points, just has to. Littergrim is coming for points. Littergrim is coming for a sole point. Skinner now, now he's set up for a teammate. But meanwhile, at the front, it's still... There's a battle for first place going on at the front. Skinner and the young side-by-side for Rack, who's into turn 8. Skinner gets it. And Skinner prevails, but at the front... He's overcome so many obstacles, but Joseph Murray is going to make it back-to-back race wins. The McLaren takes victory in the Spanish Grand Prix. And Material has come from losing his front wing in the opening exchanges to finishing second ahead of his teammate. Holstead Pufri. Out of nowhere, coming in third. Johnson, Richard Johnson, who Shane led this race on multiple occasions, has actually just made himself a championship contender with another amazing points finish. And Shane McHugh, fifth place in the Torosso. Q. Jankowski, sixth in the Williams. Now we have two of the Mercedes. Oh. There's Ferrari. Ferrari has run out of fuel Kubusek, ninth, and Kubusek Kubusek doesn't picks up the final points. Place. And can you believe, believe me in saying this? Red Bull have scored a yeah, grand total. These guys total. are classified, by the way. Red Bull oh, have scored oh. a grand total. Oh. De Sturman has lost the place. He lost the whale. Red Bull have scored a grand total of zero points. <laughs> what? They're, doing a, they're doing a McLaren from season one. They are literally doing a Mercedes from... 20, 2019 German Grand Prix wall. Oh no. Oh dear, we're in the wall here. There's a long season ahead, but this is not good for Red Bull. What? Oh, he's lost it all on his own. And he couldn't and stop it. And the navigator the doesn't navigate it to the finish. Drops it on the curb. But yeah, that was, I dare say, crazier than Berno. The yep. fact that Material lost the front wing on the very first lap one of the first few laps, and came back to finish and second. And the slam goes to Mihail Valiak. One minute, 9.8. Oh, Skinner's been rammed into by someone on the curb. <laughs> Everyone's run out of fuel. Skinner's been hit by De Jong. I don't believe it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but it will, this will not be in the expenses, don't worry. Yeah, but, but Valiak fast the slap. The most hexic race I have ever seen. Mind Joseph you... Murray prevailing again. Matthias wait, Material. Wait, wait. Kabusek is going to get a penalty, so Littergrim does score points. Oh yes, Littergrim will get points. Littergrim will get points, it seems. There is some positives yes, for Red some. Bull. Look How at the amount of retirements. We've got, so, retirements. Michael Teller, Olivia yes. Zaitch, James Smith, Sh Evelyn Tugard, Willem de Sturman, and, and Carter Kane, Chinami and Cargo. No, no, no. Carter Kane, yeah, Chinami and Cargo They all ran out of fuel, they all ran out of fuel, I know. Yeah. On the, on the uh, cool down lap, but yeah. Who is your driver of the day? How dare you say that? You can't... I have no clue. I say Material. Fight me. I... To me, everyone but Material just tops everyone because... I, it's either Material, Mercury, and Koski. Yeah. It took really... Material didn't have bad machinery. He just overcame a lot of problems. I, I've got to give it to McHugh, to be honest. Yeah. He was fighting all race long at the front. So he gets my driver of the day. But yeah... That concludes round three. I dare say that's not getting beaten. How do you beat that? Just complete chaos. We had cars crashing in the pit lane. We had cars crashing and still finishing on the podium. 
it's just insane stuff. So anyway, join us in, in two weeks' time because next week there is a uh, a pause. Yeah. Of one week. So join us in two weeks' time. And what track are we visiting? Hockenheim Ring for the German Grand Prix. We are at the Hockenheim Ring. So the home race of Mercedes. And after they've both finished seventh and eighth, they'll be looking to improve on that. But yeah, join us next in two weeks' time. But for now, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. Remember to be safe on the roads, wear a seatbelt, don't drink and drive, and have fun. Bye-bye.